Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Edmund Mindaros, and for today's quick tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys on how to resolve the IO1 initialization failed blue screen error on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. So this error will typically occur if you have configured or perhaps recently upgraded your system or there might have been an issue of a faulty update affecting the input or output system on your computer. Alright, so without further ado and let's go ahead. So all you have to do is to open up the search menus, click mo lang dito. And then, kailangan mo lang type yung CMD or ito yung tinatawag na command prompt. And then next step ay kailangan mo lang mag right click. And then sinik mo lang dito yung right as administrator. So dito sa administrator command prompt, ay kailangan lang natin i-enter yung command keyword na bcadet space slash set space use platform block space and draw. Okay, so copy na natin yan at ilalagay ko to sa description box. And then next, I paste lang natin yan. And then press mo lang yung enter. Ayan, so makikita nyo dito na the operations completed successfully. Okay, so in the next command keyword na kailangan lang natin type I type mo lang yung slc space slash scan now. So, one word yung slash scan now and press mo lang yung enter. Okay, so beginning system scan, this process will take some time. So, kailangan lang natin hintayin ito na maging 100% complete verifications. Okay, so hintayin lang natin ito. Ayan, so makikita nyo dito na verifications 100% complete. Okay, so ang next step na gagawin natin dito ay dito lang sa start menu and then click mo lang to restart. Okay, so click mo lang ito. Right, so ganoon lang po kasimple kung paano natin i-fix ang IO1 initialization per blue screen error in Windows 11 or Windows 10. Okay, so please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more quality content. Thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial.